in India. And so she invited him to come and tour the U.S. for the first time. So he's been making the circuit at the uh, Parliament, of Western, Parliament of World Religion in Salt Lake City last weekend and uh, Jackson Hole and Idaho Falls going up to Haley tomorrow and Wilson area. So we're honored to have him here in our area and what a wonderful support you're showing him tonight. And I'll let Deidre talk a little bit about the Rinpoche. Thank you. Well, again, thank you um, all very much for being here. Uh, Rinpoche, I, I did meet him in Ladakh, India last summer when I was at the Kali Chakra with His Holiness. And I invited Rinpoche to come to the United States because he had never been here before. And I had never met a Tibetan Buddhist monk teacher whom I felt was my teacher. And because Rinpoche has been living in Australia for 12 years, he speaks English very well and he's also a little bit more Western. So uh, a little bit more open and available to us and it was my dream to invite him to come. However, coming here wouldn't have been as meaningful for him if Idaho, truly Idaho, had not come forward. I thought when I brought him here that I'd be taking him to Boulder and somewhere in Montana and it's my friends in Idaho who have provided the space and, who, and then all of you who have actually shown up for him to be able to teach in the United States. So thank you, each of you, and then thank you, Idaho. And it's my honor to introduce to you um, Kentra Rinpoche, who actually uh, was born as a nomad in a remote mountainous area of Tibet, was not um, even uh, trained in, to be a monk until he was almost 19. He was a nomad out with the yaks until he was 16. Um, so he's a very uh, amazing, interesting person, and I'm so happy for you to be able to meet him. Okay, uh, another minor logistics. Um, if you want, you can uh, put your name and email address, make sure it's legible, and then we, we can keep you in touch if he, when he's coming back again, as well as other information with the Blue House Spiritual and Healing Center. And your donation tonight will go toward the Rinpoche alone. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then maybe you can help him if you can here in the back. So he. Yeah, he fit here more. The back ones are I think very difficult to. So. Can see here. Can you? Use, huh? or maybe. Uh, try see if they can hear you. Just try talking. <laughs> are you hearing me? In the back. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> okay, evening, good evening. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, new person, stranger, uh, you interest. Uh, that's very appreciated for me. Uh, long time here, the great Americans, but meet is the first time. So, <laughs> tonight topic they choose come in mind. So. come in the mind uh, through meditation, right? I think the meditation is popular everywhere, but we didn't see much somebody achieve extraordinary state of mind through the meditation. Is not that many compared an ancient time. So I think we need a little bit analyze this. So the modern development is a little bit opposite of the meditation.
may some of you disagree, but uh, the scientific, the science development also a little bit destruction of to understand the mind. So for this reason, first we try to understand a little bit the, what is really mind is. So if I question you, what is the mind? What do you say? My thoughts. Your thoughts, yeah. Anybody else? I believe. Huh? Process of thinking. Process of thinking, okay. Perceptions. Ah, perceptions. <laughs> Ego. Ego. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> is mind, is it physical or not physical? It is, it is, it is, uh, uh, how do you say? It is a part, Particle or not particle? No, I think not particle. <laughs> so, see, we have a little bit struggling to understand the mind. We use our mind. Basically, the mind is always with us even never separate one second and we use it all the time yet we have a little bit struggle to understand what his mind is really is that's the problem so when you don't understand really the mind is you really don't know how to meditate Even you know a little bit, but you don't have incredible inspiration to achieve in or the accomplishment through the mind. How can? You can't have it. So that's why I think we have to know a little bit, understand what is the mind, okay? So I would say, first, mind is not physical. Mind is, go, go beyond physical. Mind is primary, the all physical structure in the universe is secondary. Are you shocked? When I say this, you could be shocked because why you, we all, not me really, but you all born and grow in the scientific field. So you believe so much the science. We have reason why we believe science so much because we have so much development the science and so much achievement through the science the, the physical level the physical developments yeah I don't know how to say the mobile phone the internet so many things so that's why our mind just naturally believe the science and we live in the science development every day Almost every moment, using mobile phones, almost every moment. So one way is really good, but uh, the other way, we not familiar with our own mind. We have no much idea of what is really mind is. <coughs> So, the answer, what is mind really is? The simple answer, we have to say, the mind is perceiver. 
The mind is uh, observer. And physical things cannot observe each other. Only mind can. But the mind is not one. It is huge and so many aspects. And some aspect they're working with physical. So we think that only some more aspect we think is mind. That's the problem. Okay, I have, I'll give you an example. Think of mind is like ocean. It's huge and it is absolutely deep. But we don't know the whole ocean. We know only some images of ocean and some stems from the ocean and we know a little waves from the ocean, the bubbles from the ocean. That's all we know. That's why we, when I ask you what is the mind, you say thoughts and thought process and ego and emotions. That's what often people say. So then you think, oh, emotions, thoughts, all, is, if it's not really mind, then what is mind? So mind have eight levels of mind. <laughs> more, 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 more profound, profounder. So the, the last level, eight level to mind, we never experience, and you ordinary people, ordinary every day, you, don't, you never experience. Let's say the seventh level of the mind, we can experience, like say, one percentage maybe. And the sixth we experience, 50 maybe, a rough idea. You know, nobody make this percentage, but I just r get rough idea. And the other five is the five senses. So this we experience a lot. Too much, that's why we are drawn and sinking in these five senses, consciousness. More and more, more and more, and more, and more, and more busy, more lost and more ad in the television everywhere, too many signs everywhere, which means we are taking away the deep level of our mind far, far, far away. That's what we have to understand. So that's why usually we think these five senses of the mind, we think it is mind. We see things, we think, see and we say, oh, this is blue, this is white, this is red. We think this is the mind. But these five senses is 100% Rely with the, our far, uh, organs, right? So that means this organs is physical. So you rely with completely. That's why you blind. You can't see. You know anything in the window. The window blind. Then you can't see anything. Smell a little bit far away. You can't smell it. Touch. You can't feel, test everything. So for this reason, these ones is never develop anything ever. It's not development. This is destruction of the the mind, the real mind. What is the real mind? Is mind consciousness? We say. 
Then you say, okay, what is mind consciousness? You said not emotions, huh? not thoughts, then what is it? Not eyes, consciousness, or ear, not all of them, then what is it? Awareness. Huh? Awareness. <laughs> Awareness. <laughs> whatever you call awareness or whatever you call doesn't matter what you name it the important to know the meaning <coughs> so I give you a little bit of example maybe it helps I said the profound mind is like ocean the real mind but the for instance let's say our emotions, strong emotions, and uh, strong logical analysis is like strong wave. So the only wave is the wave is ocean. Yes or no? Difficult. Mm. You have to keep. Mm. The wave is not the whole ocean, but it's little part of ocean, right? Similarly, our strong emotions and analysis, intellect, logical analysis, is like the, st the strong waves. So which means it's a little bit part of the ocean, similarly, a little bit part of the mind, but temporary. It's temporary. It comes and goes. Emotions comes and goes. The intellect, logical analysis comes and goes. First you thought, oh, you analyze and you really feel strongly this is as it really is. And then later you change, oh, no, 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 I was wrong. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's temporary. Everything is temporary. That's why I just only like weaves. It's not the real mind. And then little bit thoughts, you know, the repetitive useless thoughts we have every day is like just steams of ocean or just bubbles of the ocean. That's all. So we are stuck in there entire our life. And we have no experience deep the mind. That's why we think, oh, mind is brain. Mind is emotions, mind is thoughts. But even the thoughts, I'm sure, I'm sure you have many science people here, scientists. You say emotions and the thoughts are physical. You can't say they are physical, huh? but you can say they come from physical activity. I don't know. What do you say? <laughs> senses. Physical senses. Yeah, physical senses, of course. Mm -hmm. But just emotions and thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, they come from physical. Not really. Emotions, you don't need to do anything physical, right? So you may think, oh yes, to do with brand, this part of brand, such and such, this brand do this, 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 right? But we believe that is, brand is not the primary mind, <coughs> not the primary. So I have to think of this, the machines, we have so many radio and you know, we have so many parts inside. Brands like that. We thought we thought them is machine is not working. But the machine, the electricity go inside and working and the computer is not them. Right? Similarly, the mind working with brand, but its mind is not brand. You have to understand that first. <laughs> okay? So that's why. There's, there's beings that have no brand, but they have still have observed 
and perception, right? Depending how your mind works a lot or little, also depending how your brain, right? Human's brain is bigger, so that's why it works more intelligent, right? But that doesn't mean his mind is brain. Big television or small television? <laughs> <laughs> Big camera or small camera? You know, the professional camera or small, cheap camera? Just similar. So, are you going to say something? I have a question. May I ask a question? Okay. So there's eight levels of the mind. Which ones of them are subconscious? Six to eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Self-conscious. Subconscious. Subconscious. Sub or the Subconscious. Um, below beneath, awareness. Beneath our awareness. I always confuse the sub. Sub means primary or second. When you say subtitle book, the yeah. big one or small one is subtitle. Well, small one. Second, second, second. <laughs> I don't know. Subtitle. Sub you have to speak up so we can hear the questions. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> well, she said which one is sub sub consciousness. With which of the eight levels is subconscious? Okay. So, anyway, the sixth, I said sixth, no, no, no with five senses, you know, not this uh, physical uh, organs, no organs, we have intellect talk, intellect analyze, all these things, you know. This one is mind consciousness, right? That's one sixth, probably subconsciousness means this name. The seventh and the eighth we not talk today. <laughs> it is too much for you, okay? So, <laughs> anyway, so we have to understand this. And then, if we understand, oh, there is a mind. Mind is primary. The physical world is secondary. If you have that idea, then you have much confidence to have meditate and achieve spiritual accomplishment. Superfish, super, spirituality in, in modern time is very weak. Do you know that? So everybody has some feelings and a little bit intuition, a little bit gut feelings and they think this is spiritual. That is very, very, how do you say? Scratching the surface. Yeah, scratching the surface, <laughs> exactly. So why? Because we not achieving meditative status, meditative status. We not achieving stabilization of our mind. Why? Our lifestyle, the social, how do you say, orientation. And everybody say meditate, meditate, but calm the mind with meditation. Which means you really using, you are learning mostly a relaxation. You're not meditating, you're just relaxing. So, then what is meditation? Answer me. Not the five senses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is meditation? What definition of meditation? Quieting the soul. To stop thought. Mm -hmm. Observation. So, talking thought. Uh -huh. Observation. Observation. Stopping so, thought. Go inside yourself. What do you say? Going inside yourself. 
Go ahead and find yourself. Opening myself up. Huh? Open, Opening up. Opening myself up. Clearing the mind. Clearing the mind. Being aware of the mind. Be a, being aware of the mind. I have a thought. Okay. Um, it's like going in a closet and having someone yell through your ear with a megaphone. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, going into a quiet place and then looking, speaking loudly in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> See? So many different ideas. Yes. So now I, I say it. My, my perspective of meditation. So you can argue and you can debate, okay? If you not agree. I say, gain, you know, uh, free in our own mind. Free, free in our mind, makes sense in English? Yes. Free in our own mind. Huh? Yeah. Free in, yeah, free in. Free. free in our own mind. Okay, free from what? Falseness. Any, anyone here? A uh, goodies, a uh, disagree, or you know, different opinion. No. Okay. So I'm saying, free, free in our own mind, <coughs> which means free from agitation and free from doubtness. Did you say doubtness? Yes, free from two extremes. One is agitation, one is uh, doubtness. Agitation means everything. All emotions, all thoughts, all distractions. Everything is belong to agitation. That's my thought, if I'm not English, not wrong. Agitation. Include, uh, include everything? Yeah? Yeah, if you want to call it that. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't matter really what we call. And down is when, when we have no distraction and no engaging, not entertaining, entertaining, and then what do we do? Our dull our mind. Dull means not very fresh, not very vacant, not very bright, just dull, before sleep. <laughs> not much as sleepy. Sleepy is absolutely dull. <laughs> but before sleepy, that is a dull mind. Yeah. Oh, you could do. <laughs> okay. We're not Australians. <laughs> okay. That's a okay. So, let's say ocean we, we never see is a uh, mud. So we take the example. Not ocean, just think big river. Our mind is big, deep, huge river. But river sometimes muddy, dirty, contaminated. So that is our emotions, the negative emotions controlling us. It's like this. So not, not free from emotions. Okay, and then thought, we're not free, for instance, the river have to go, spend it in us, remember, 
Now you think the emotions and thoughts is secondary, remember? A small aspect of mind. And some is not really even like the dirt. Dirt, the, con uh, the contagious in the, in the river. It's not a river, but they completely mix with the river. So similarly, our emotions and our distractions is not mind. It is contaminating our mind. So how, why, you may think, why then so difficult to free from them? Is nobody free and everybody <laughs> dominated by emotions and thoughts? Even we say, always we say, oh, you know, entertainment. Entertainment is so important for us. That means you cannot free at all because you not you, you never you never been alone by yourself, your mind. So your mind by alone yourself means completely quiet and peace. You don't know how to do it this. Instead, you need loud music and then jump in and, and loud sing, sing and you have to do this. <clears throat> Entertain yourself or your, the other negative sadness, depressed or whatever the emotions, it, that helps a little bit, right? Because we didn't have the other skill to completely calm which means the, the muddy water, if stay completely still, and then all mud is settled, and the water become very clear. But we don't have that skill. So that's why we jump in and music and loud and, you know, or play a game or poking machine. We do this because we, we don't know our mind. That's the problem. So then, who knows their mind? Who has simple life? Living in the forest. The monks, the monks should know the mind more. But even the monks, they don't know much at this stage. Because monks, even monks, they do it all day, mobile phone. <laughs> huh? Computer and even drive a car and motorbike. <laughs> so that's our social 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 orientation is go that way. So that's why our mind is problem. If we don't know the mind, how can we believe we can achieve incredible in the mind? We can't, we can't believe it. For us it's something like impossible, you free from emotions. What do you mean free from emotions? Means but, means free from emotions means that the emotions, you know, dominate us. But you dominate emotion. If you can do that, that means you know some meditation. You have some degree of achievement through the meditation. So which means you want angry right now, you can be furious now. But you want to stop and immediately your anger, you can do that, no problem. And you're also very, very excited right now. Can you do that? So if you can, that means you are free from emotions. So free from emotions means you cannot never have any emotion at all. You cannot have it. Never come back. It's not that. Rather, you, it's up to you which emotion you want now. But for us, it's not up to us up to some other circumstances, right? 
<laughs> Some seconds make you angry, you cannot stop. And that time you make mistakes. Because the, before I said, like mud, mud inside the river. I contaminate your mind. That's why you, you are not clear. That's why you made, made mistake when you're angry, when you're jealous. Everything we make mistakes that time. <laughs> so that's why if you want to meditate, the goal of meditation is free from emotions and this repetitive thought. We have so much repetitive thoughts. And the researchers say, say 75 percentage of our everyday thoughts is useless and repetitive. Only 25 is useful. Imagine if you use it only the 25 and, and the 75 is you never use, how is wonderful our mind? More clear water, clear ocean. <coughs> So that's why a simple way, say, freeing our own mind is the meditation. So now see, our mind is big, very big. So you can say, how, how, how big, how can be the whole universe is a secondary and our mind is a primary? Okay, if you have no mind at all, there's no universe. There is no universe for you. And you may think, oh yes, not for me, but for others, yes. How do you know? <laughs> Which means, no. There's no mind, no universe. Mind projected everything, and, and then you perceive. Then you perceive. So that's why mind is primary. Okay? So tonight, we say, come in the mind through meditation. Why I want to tell you this? You are swimming. Oh, we go there and see it and learn some techniques and we have some peace in our mind, right? But that, you don't have to be meditation. There's some techniques to relax. Or even you watching movie, or drunk, or massage, or anything. I relax a little bit. Come in on your mind a little bit. That's it. That's why it's nothing special, the meditation. So if you really want to learn meditation, you have to understand first the mind. And then you really know exactly what is the meditation. And then you have some inspiration. So once you have aspiration, then you have determination. And then you will meditate every day. And then you have progress. But if you think mind is coming mind is just temporary peace in the mind, you can do that through meditation but you have never progressed. That's the only difference. So how do you make progress? First, you have to understand, and then you have aspiration. Then you have determination, and then you, finally, you learn techniques. But, nowadays everybody, don't really you know it. No inspiration, but I just wanted the technique. I wanted the technique. 
and then technique doesn't work because you don't have inspiration, you don't have determination. Of course you don't have because you don't really understand what you're doing. Why are you doing? <coughs> And also techniques, you can't learn once. The techniques, you have to learn gradually. So just like baby step. Baby have to first learn how to stand up. And then one step walk, two step. And slowly they learn everything, how to run, many things. You can't learn just once. Same thing, meditation, you have to learn slowly. Okay, I stop here a little bit. If you have any questions, just for this. If you have some donor standing here, you question me, I try to clarify as much as possible. And then we do some meditation. For myself, I know sometimes I experience emotions that feel like a tsunami of water. Yeah. And I have tried sometimes to look at myself and say, okay, what's going on with yourself? But you can, sometimes those emotions are so strong. How do you stop it once the waters are crashing in? <laughs> That's why you have to learn meditation. <laughs> you have to learn meditation and philosophy both. So how many people here have studied in Buddhism? Ah, okay. So I question this, you study in Buddhism, these people. Did any help the Buddhist philosophy your emotions. If yes. yes, can you say yes? Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Okay. See? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because philosophy changes your perspective, changes your attitude. So meditation changes your progress, your skills. That's why. Okay. Thank you. Any more question? No. Okay. In that case, we do some do some meditation. Okay. And uh, meditation is for beginners. Just concentration, just single pointed concentration. That's all for beginners. And then you think, oh, where I concentrate? What I concentrate? So usually we work and we say, oh, concentrate, you work, concentrate on work. And we think many, many, many things. It's not that. It is just one single pointed. No moving, no movements, just one single point meditation. So then, for very beginners, they don't know how to do it. What do you mean? They can't do it because you never done. So that's why we tell them, just use your breathing. Because you know you are breathing. We all know we never stop breathing. And if we stop breathing, we die. We know that. Yet, we never observe our breathing. So that's why you just observe your breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. We have our breathing, only do two, two things. Only breathing in and out, nothing else. So you just focus on one, you know, in, out, in, out, in, out. You focus this, that's not really one single point, it's kind of like two single point, but that's okay for beginners, absolutely okay.
So you watch your breathing. Watch when you, you don't with the eyes watching, but just your focusing. You focus on breathing in, out, nothing else. That's all. That's all you do. And if a little bit advanced meditators, if you quite easy for you to do focus on breathing, then you have one single point to meditate, try. Which means you can single point it on the wall or in front of your object or or mental image object or anything you like. And you focus this and nothing else. But the most important when doing this, people's mind is down. When you can't do it, uh, your mind goes everywhere, you try to bring back, that's okay. But you try to bring back, you try so hard, so then your mind is dull, become low energy. So that's also not good, that's also not meditation. So meditation is not this, and meditation is not this thinking. Meditation is high energy, bright concentration. That you have to try. Which means if your mind is dull, too dull, and then you open eyes and maybe stretch and try to wake up yourself, and then do it again. If you're too distracted, and then you close eyes and try to concentrate. But usually people, everybody close eyes. Even close eyes very tightly like <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Relax. <laughs> Not tight. <laughs> Relax. Have to be relaxed. Look at the Buddha images. You know? How they calm the face. You know, if it's a good artist, then it's the, the face is very calm. The eyes not completely open, but not completely closed, not tightly closed. <coughs> so a little bit open. We call it Egyptian. The authentic Buddha image is a Egyptian, which means that the, uh, the eyes shape is like a, a bow. Bow arrow. Oh, bow. 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 Am I pronouncing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So like bow shape. It's not like uh, our eyes. New new painters they do like somebody pity woman or pity person. <laughs> the eyes they do it nowadays. That's not authentic. <laughs> so you have to do that bow shape eye and calm the face. Calm. So that's why your body. Relax, but no, not like watching TV. <laughs> and not too tight, but firm. Firm as like butter, not like meter. <laughs> okay? So if more other ones, they don't need object. Just be with your own mind. You know, we say, I'm by myself today, nobody else with me. So similar, my mind by itself. No thoughts, no emotions, no object. By itself. That's you meant to be, if you are the one's meditator. Okay? So, I'm going to do some prayers. This prayers is uh, a homage to express my gratitude to the spiritual ancestors, the extraordinary compassion, compassionate masters, to bless us, bless all of you. So when I doing this, you start meditate. Okay, but before that, please breathe, deep breathe in and breathe out three times and 
close eyes and and visualize it all our negative energies we generate through the year through the weeks months go away lift the body and go away lift even our earth go on to the space black hole <clears throat> imagine that okay and after that I do prayer and you concentrate and then you focus what I said before whether breathe or single pointed or your own mind but we we do that okay so now start left body as black smoke and went in the space left earth I went in big space in black hole and breathing in all new energy new oxygen positive merit virtuous energies come to you through the nostrils and travel entire your body feel the sensations and then after that concentration Dio Come で、社長とんき、じゃつ、シャンバーだね。そうすれば、ファトミル。Je ne donne la nuit de dans chez Nathan Banandi, 